So now let's take a look at the preferences options inside of Camtasia. So over here to go to preferences, let's just go to edit and then go to preferences. And in preferences, you can see that there are six tabs. The first one is program right here. And you have uh, an option to enable out and disable out different options right here. You also can set up your default easing for animations, which is auto by default. Or let's say, for example, you want linear, you can just select that out. And then over here on the bottom, you can see that auto save is an option. So it auto saves your project every one minute. So even if your software were to crash, uh, it has a backup every one minute stored out automatically for you. Then you have timing right here. So timing for animation. So whenever you, whenever you bring in annotations or timing and captions, uh, all of them are brought in for a default uh, set of seconds right here, as you can see. So animation is one second, placeholder is 60 seconds. So you can change this out. Let's say, for example, for placeholder, if you want it to be 120 seconds, you can just change it out just like that. Of course, you can default, uh, re restore default as well. Transition is one second by default, but you can also bring it down uh, to, let's say, for example, 0 0.5 seconds as well, if you feel that that is quite long. So these uh, are where, like, these are the timings that you set in the timing tab. Then you have partners right here, like you, uh, if you want to add in the uh, plugin for PowerPoint, like prompt for the next action after recording is saved and so forth, all the PowerPoint settings are accessible right here. Then you have shortcuts, all the shortcuts that you want to access, which we already looked at in previous lesson as well, is located right here. You have the project options right here, like, it, uh, like you can choose out the canvas dimensions right here, everything that uh, we also saw uh, over here in the previous lessons. You also have an option whether to turn on the auto normalized loudness or not, and the default frame rate that the project starts with just like that as well. And then in the advanced tab, we have an option to enable automatic uh, update right over here. Like every 14 days, it'll check for automatic updates. And over here, you have the hardware acceleration option as well. So by default, my, uh, I'm using my NVIDIA graphics card. And if you have a supported graphics card, then it is highly recommended that you choose it because it makes the workflow a lot more faster and a lot more easier to process as well. And these are the preferences inside of Camtasia to uh, tune in the software into the way you want it. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.